Hi everybody, welcome again to Wingman Wisdom. Thank you for joining me today. I want to start off by saying that uh, the RV industry, in my opinion, has a long ways to go to improve their reputation. There's a lot of sleazy dealers out there, and I think most people know what I'm talking about. That's why we're putting together the the RV Dealers I Trust Network, a group of good dealers, dealers that I have vetted, dealers that have been in business a long, long time that I believe you can trust. If you're going to buy your RV, you're going to sell an RV, I think you need to contact a dealer in this network and give them the opportunity to earn your business. That said, if you want to sell your RV, there's a lot of options out there. One of those options is you can consign it through a dealer. Are all consignment dealers the same? No, they are not. You could go down to your local dealer who sells new RVs and they may take your RV on consignment. But is that the best way for you to go? I just think for PPL, when you, I've worked for traditional dealerships in the past. Um, you know, uh, consignments are not the main source of their revenue. It, they're they're almost an afterthought. They do them just because it's something they can do, but they don't really focus on it as a as a major point of their business. Uh, for us, it's everything. You know, the consignment business for us is everything. It's the way this business got started with PPL, and it, it will always be the main focal point. Um, we don't have, for the most part, uh, we don't we can't order from the factory, right? We don't, we don't have new lines. I mean, right. we have a, a new trailer line in Houston. We have a new trailer line in uh, Florida. But, you know, that's, that's a small, small piece of our business is that one new line of trailers right at each of those locations. None of our other locations have new inventory. It's all pre-owned. And 90% of it is consignment. Um, we have to be focused on that part of our business, and it drives everything. We, we, tell, we tell everybody, our listers are our factory. You know, if we don't have listers coming in, we have no inventory. So that's our factory. We have to take care of our, our listers, our sellers, uh, in order for us to be successful. And that's what drives all the other departments. You know, you have parts, you have service, you have sales, you have finance. All of those departments cannot be successful if we can't list units. And uh, that's why we're so, so hardcore on, on that part of our business. Um, it, it just drives everything else. And you've got individuals, people that, that uh, you know, when people go to my website, rvdealersitrust.com, they can uh, click on a map and go to a PPL location. If they're thinking about selling their RV, they can get the contact person, my yeah. contact, or a they're thinking about buying an RV. They get a real person, not some robot chat thing. That's right. We, we've got a team uh, that answers all of those requests whether you send in something via the website or an email, or you pick up the phone and call us, you're gonna get a real person on the phone. Uh, you're gonna talk to somebody who's knowledgeable in the industry, who's knowledgeable about the inventory that we have on the lot, uh, that's knowledgeable about our process. We do a lot of training, um, and we do a lot of specific training on our processes. We have to be consistent. We have to be uh, uh, process-driven, so that the, the customer who's buying or the customer who's selling has, has the same experience each and every time. And uh, you know, it's so important to us. We're, we're nothing without all the people at PPL. Uh, our people uh, are, are the company and they, they, wear that, uh, they wear that name tag, they wear that label with pride when they're working in our locations. And we're so happy and, and fortunate to have uh, really good people in the organization. And as we grow, um, we, we continue to look for people that uh, ex exude that enthusiasm uh, for customer service and uh, want to take care of people. You know, they, they just want to take care of people. I, I've always hired people who have enthusiasm and a willingness to learn, sometimes over experience. I'll teach them the experience. But if they, if they know how to take care of people and they know how to treat people right, those are the folks that I want working for us. I, I have never told you this, but this, so this will be a first, but uh, some of the, the greatest people that I respect are good teachers and good nurses because they care. Yeah. And the people at PPL, since well, I've been working with you guys since 2017, they care. 
Yeah. Everybody can sell an RV. Everybody can go to any dealer you want. But I want people that give a crap. And you guys, you know, y'all are perfect, but you own it if something goes wrong. You're just, oh, yes. who, you, you, you're just who you are. And that's that's what I appreciate. Yeah. Yeah. If we make a mistake, we're all human. If we make a mistake, we're going to own up to it. We're going to apologize and we're going to fix it. You know, that that's what we do. And uh, I think every customer will understand that and, and forgive you uh, for for your mistake if you're if you're in your heart. Uh, truly sorry that it happened and you make and you make amends by taking care of the situation. You know, I've taught I've taught uh, many, many people. Uh, the first I'm sorry is always the best one and mean it when you say it. And you say know, it because, early. Don't wait yes. and kick it. Blame somebody else. Just own no. it. It's OK. It, it's funny because uh, when I'm handling a customer issue, I call them opportunities. Uh, when I'm handling that opportunity, uh, the minute I find out about it, I pick up the phone and I call. If if the if the customer is not in the location, I'll pick up the phone and call. And typically, if I'm away from the dealership, I'll call from my cell phone, and uh, they'll answer the phone. And especially if it's a cell phone, because it's not from the business, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I'll just tell them who I am, and I said, I understand you have a problem with one of the dealerships. How can I help you? And they're like. This just happened like two minutes ago. How did you already? Well, uh, you know, we we get notified that there's a problem. I'm going to call you and find out what the problem is and fix it. And and people are much more willing to work with you at that at that point. The longer you let it go, the more they simmer, the more they get upset, the harder it's going to be to resolve that issue down the road. And who blames them? I wouldn't be happy either if somebody didn't reach out to me. Do you agree that the RV industry could use a real improvement in terms of reputation? I certainly do. Now, in terms of choosing a consignment RV dealer, there's a lot of them out there. Why would you choose somebody like PPL? I suggest do your homework. If you're going to sell your RV through a consignment dealer, check them out. Do your homework. Nobody has a perfect score. Nobody. It's not the people that make mistakes, because everybody makes mistakes. It's the people that own their mistakes. And in my opinion, through the years of working with them, when PPL makes a mistake, they will be the first ones to say, hey, we did it and we will make it right. So do your homework. If you'd like to get more information on PPL, go to their website, pplmotorhomes.com, or of course, I talk about it all the time, go to rvdealersitrust.com rvdealersitrust.com. Drop a comment below. Let me know if you think the RV industry as a whole needs to improve its reputation. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Alan Warren, the RV Wingman. Be safe, have fun, play nice, and don't leave your good manners at home.